this question we have a function f and it's a linear function and we have a function g which is a logarithmic function to the base 2 okay and we're told that x can be any real number for f and x can be any real number but x has to be bigger than negative a third for function g do notice base 2 there okay what we're asked to do is we're asked to work out g of f of 1 so firstly let's work out f of 1 f of 1 is when you substitute 1 in here so 6 multiplied by 1 take away 1 is equal to 5 so therefore g of f of 1 is going to be g of 5 which is log base 2 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 15 and 1 is 16 now you should know log base 2 of 16 this is 2 to what power gives you 16 and the answer is 4 because 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So you know log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. So g of f of 1 is equal to 4. Right, um, I'm going to do uh, part b beside it, but you should go down the page when you're doing it. Find an expression of the inverse function. So I, uh, I'm going to state that y is equal to log base 2 of 3x add 1. I'm going to swap x and y's, so I'm going to have that x is equal to log base 2 of 3 y add 1, and try and make y the subject of the formula. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to raise both sides to the power of 2, so that I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the log base 2 of 3 y add 1. That's because this side suddenly then becomes just 3 y add 1. So 2 to the power of x is that. Making y the subject of the formula, I can do it in one move. I take away 1 and divide by 3. So 2 to the power of x, take away 1, divide by 3. As follows. So therefore state your inverse function. f inverse of x is therefore 2 to the power of x, take away 1, divided by 3. So looking back up here, um, we did this for, uh, for your function g. x had to be uh, bigger than or equal to negative a third. And when that was true, uh, we had that log can take any number. Um, so here, our, our x can take any number here. So we just state that x can be any real number.